Hello, 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 my Scorpio Collective, Sun, Moon, Rising Sun. Welcome to your What Do I Need read for this new moon to full moon next, April into May 2020. I am your reader, Mark Angela Lyons, Mal for short, president of Drawing the Circle Productions, professional witch, professional intuitive, and very, very happy to be serving today, serving my Scorpios in particular. I've mentioned it before. My brother, my older brother, is a Scorpio. Blessed be his scorpionic heart. Um, but if you are new to the channel and you don't know about all the people I talk about in these videos in my life, please, if you so feel it, like this video. Please subscribe to the channel. Uh, hit that notification bell. I am putting out uh, content every single day, uh, particularly live streams as well as recorded uh, videos, just to help us all get through this. Check out my AM and PM stuff that I'm doing uh, in chats, right? In, in the super chats, whatever that's called. Um, yeah, because we're building a lovely little community here, having a good time. And check out the description box. I got a private U uh, Facebook group and all of that you can check out. It's good stuff. That being said, please keep in mind this is a general reading, right? Please take what resonates, leave what doesn't. That's why I do sun, moon, and rising signs for all the astrological based readings that I do. Um, this is just a simple card draw. We're just pulling five cards, one card from five different decks, in order to get you clarity from the divine about what you need for this uh, new moon in Taurus on uh, April 22nd to the full moon in Scorpio, I believe, because I have it written down here, yeah, May 7th, which is usually the cross quarter of Beltane, just saying. I don't know. I'll have to look that up. Um, so here's what's going to happen. <laughs> I'm going to breathe as I go. I ask you to do the same so that I can bring through enough guidance, grace, and clarity because pulling the cards just part of it. It's then translating from that particular pantheon, the mystical connections that I have with them through covenant, contract, and vow that I have with these uh, these divine pantheons uh, to get you the guidance and grace. So if you're doing the same, right, following your breath, being here in the present moment, you'll be able to, as a water sign, sun, moon, or rising, Scorpios, uh, be able to feel what resonates and leave what doesn't, and then go check your other signs. Cool, cool. All the decks that I read are in the description box below. At the bottom, there's other cool stuff in there you might want to check out. Let's do this. Nice deep breath. Uh, we're going to start woo, with the Healing with the Angels Oracle that the angels may communicate through them. Here we go. My angels, please, one card in clarity for the Scorpio Collective Sun, Moon, Rising sign from this new moon in Taurus to their full moon for the year, the full moon in Scorpio. What do they need? What do they need to tune into? What do they need to feel? What do they need to heal? What do they need to think about, focus on, look at for this new moon to full moon next April to May 2020? Whoa! And they say you need to focus on Archangel Michael, the angel of truth. Now look, Archangel Michael, all the archangels are a big deal. Unfortunately, in this deck, Doreen Virtue just did the one. Everybody loves Archangel Michael. Come on. John Travolta played him in a movie, right? You never hear about Uriel. Well, you do if you work, watch certain TV shows. <laughs> Let's not go there. <laughs> this is such a good show. I haven't made my way all the way through it. If you don't know what I'm talking about, that's okay. Uh, <laughs> Moving on, uh, Archangel Michael is is the angel of God's will, but also the angel of truth, the angel of choice, the angel of decision. And during this time where so many things seem to be untrue, <laughs> particularly if you are connected your, to your intuitive system, you can feel something's off, but up here in the mind there's deliberation and negotiation. Well, maybe it is, maybe it isn't, right? To really focus on Archangel Michael, to have him come down with his sword and clear the air clear the psychic static, right? Just get what's truth here. Now they are saying to me, <laughs> coming in from over here, that there's a difference between personally what's true and truth. And I'll give you a really good example. What's true is that I am sitting in my dining room doing a reading for the Scorpio Collective, sun, moon, rising signs for this new moon to full moon next. That's true. 
The truth is, is that we're all one and we're all playing roles as different people in this quantum hologram called life on planet Earth. True truth, because what's true can change. I won't always be doing this reading for you in my dining room, uh, but we will always be one spirit manifested as individual players in a great cosmic play of the quantum hologram called Life on Planet Earth. You with me? So sometimes it is about a more deeper mystical truth when Archangel Michael is involved, and that might be what you need to see not necessarily the bigger picture, but the truth of it all, perhaps the spiritual mystical truth, answers a lot of questions when that doth, when that doth happen. Let's go a little deeper, shall we? We're going to ask the goddesses. If you don't like the word goddesses, think of it as the collective divine feminine or half of the universal energy, right? Yin and yang. We're looking at all the yin. You yin? <laughs> Forgive me. I know exactly what I'm doing. Nice deep breath. Oh, my goddess is sacred. That was lovely. Please, one card in clarity. For the Scorpio Collective, sun, moon, rising signs. What do they need, this new moon in Taurus, the full moon? Next, their big full moon of the year in May. What do they need, my goddesses? Considering Archangel Michael is on the table already. What do they need from your divine yin point of view, my goddesses, for this new moon to full moon next, April, May, 2020? You've got the Virgo card now as a Virgo myself. <laughs> How lovely for you. But really, we're looking about, uh, though this could certainly be someone in your life, that's Virgo, sun, moon, rising, whatever. I tend to gloss over that because even if that is the case, you have the opportunity to really get what the Virgo energy is in your life, even if you have no planets in Virgo. If you do, you might want to check your natal chart, um, transits and all of that. But really, sixth house, it's the sixth, hard to say with a gap in your, te in your teeth, the sixth sign of the zodiac, sixth house is occupation, healing, and service. So what you are occupied with has a direct effect on your health. We don't realize it, right? Like watching the news all day long, you get occupied with the news, it affects your stress levels, which affects cortisol, which affects all sorts of things. Now, cortisol as a hormone is very, very helpful if you're using it in order to strengthen your immune system, just as an example. I'm deep into the Wim Hof method, W-I-M-H-O-F, Google that. <laughs> yeah, I take ice cold showers working every day to strengthen my immune system and do the breathing and the yoga and all of that. It's really kind of cool. But notice, I'm occupied with it and that is having an influence on my health. And as one of my guides said to me once and it totally stuck, crackheads are occupied by crack. How it helping their health, right? I was like, ooh, snap. It's a good example. So what are you occupied with, right? Are you occupied with a deeper mystical truth or are you occupied with perhaps something that's true but that's, what's that word, gnawing at you, just, just poking at you, poking at you, right? It's like something's off here. Your mind is perhaps being occupied. Keep in mind Virgo is ruled by the planet Mercury, which is an air sign, the uh, air planet, though, uh, Virgo is an earth sign, so it might have to do with something in the physical form that's occupying you that you probably can't um, mentally digest, which is a bit of a mixed metaphor, but I think you get what I'm saying. Like something just a poking at you, poking at you. Blessed be Paula Poundstone. Let's ask the Ascended Masters what they see here. Now, the next two decks are from the Ascended Masters, and it's a long story who and what the Ascended Masters are. I've had some experiences with them in the past year, which is why I'm allowing them to work with me and they're allowing me to work with them. Essentially, there are those souls that have gone before us, have already played the game of Hologram Earth and have mastered it, sort of like someone who went to college and got their PhD, right, their masters, etc., and then reached back through the dimensions of time and space to help those who ask for their help. So ask for their help. Perhaps that's part of that Archangel Michael thing. So let's ask them with the Chuck Spizzano love pack. Uh, if, if you're a regular watcher of my vids, you'd be like, wow, the deck shrank. Well, that's because I took all the problem cards out of the deck. They're back there. This is just the luck, the healing, 
and uh, the grace suits within this deck to kind of see what you need for new moon to full moon next, particularly if you want to do any kind of like spell work, intention work, prayer work for the new moon. This might give you a little clue, a tip, a hint. Let's ask him. My Ascended Masters, please. One card in clarity for the Scorpio Collective Sun, Moon, Rising Sun. What do they need this new moon in Taurus to full moon next in Scorpio? Their own full moon for the year. A piece of luck, a piece of grace, or a piece of healing. What do they need? Oh, you got one of the luck cards floating on air. Now, we usually associate that with a romantic encounter or a, a, usually a new romantic encounter. You usually don't experience that after decades of being with somebody, but nor does this have to be purely romantic, particularly if you're coming into contact with an archangelic experience like Michael showing you the truth that has been occupying you and affecting your health, that you are then able to float on air. In other words, perhaps see it from a higher perspective, relieve and release some of the psychic weight. Now, what I mean by psychic weight, I don't mean like, <laughs> Madame Zelda, cross my palm with silver, I grant you a wish. I don't mean that kind of psychic. I mean psyche as in the psychology, the mental, emotional uh, part of who we are, the world behind our eyes that to release the ballast, right? To release and not just negativity, but perhaps some of the psychic static that you've uh, pulled up, uh, picked up along the way. I mean, there's, you can probably Google it or YouTube. Archangel Michael Clearings. Oh my God, 10 billion different ways to do it. But essentially it's the truth setting you free and the truth will set you free. Usually it pisses you off first. Thank you, Gloria Steinem. Truer words have probably never been said. Uh, but as a Scorpio, you have the ability to see things from a higher place that might very well liberate you, right? That sense of free of flight, free thought, without being so emotionally encumbered. Now, keep in mind, you might also, as a water sign, uh, be picking up a lot of other people's stuff empathically. I'm an empath. I am a clairvoyant empath. This is why this gives me a good opportunity to express some of this stuff. Um, but perhaps if you can get, oh, oh, all right, that the Virgo card here, Virgo rules the intestines. So maybe some of the heaviness you might be feeling is not all yours, but you are helping to process it for uh, the quantum, for all of us. Lord knows I am. <laughs> you won't see that on camera, though, unless you're watching some of the streams that I do, AM and PM. Sometimes I do. I weep, I cry, I get emotionally naked in front of you all, but hey, what do I care? I am just Virgo in service. Nice deep breath. Let's ask the Ascended Masters uh, with and from the Healing Mantra deck by Matt Kahn. Beautiful deck, very helpful. A little, little mantra that you can, you know, chant, think about, repeat silently or aloud to help you this new moon to full moon next, shall we? from the Ascended Masters again, here we go. Oh. <laughs> so nice, Ascended Masters, please one card in clarity. What is the perfect healing mantra for this Scorpio Collective Sun, Moon, Rising sign, this new moon in Taurus to full moon next in Scorpio, their full moon for the year. What is the perfect healing mantra for them? for this new moon to full moon next, April to May 2020. Polishing my heart. I really like this mantra. Feeling is a power that helps me heal. So there you go for a water sign. I know it's really hard to see. They put they put white type on pastel cards. It's really hard to see. Uh, feeling is a power that helps me heal. Really good mantra. Feeling is a power that helps me heal. Now. You might say, well, sure, if it's a feeling really like, like floating on air, and if that is the emotion that comes to you, feel it, embrace it. It will help you relieve and release. 
But I've also learned that unconditional love means giving us the time and the space to feel whatever it is that we're feeling without it possessing us, without it taking us down to, even if it takes us down to the bottom of the ocean, we love ourselves even through that. Unconditional love, oddly enough, means love without condition, but that doesn't mean that we act on it without conditions. We can absolutely have our boundaries intact, right? We can absolutely call on higher forces to help us, clear us. But clearing energy doesn't mean you don't feel it. It often means, and this is an image I think one of the Ashaya monks gave me decades ago, they said, think of seaweed on the bottom of the ocean floor, right? All rooted in the, the isn't that pretty? <laughs> All rooted in, in the sand. And then you cut it off. It just doesn't go, right? It floats up. So think of that. Something that, that you are feeling is actually healed. The healing has taken place, but then that seaweed floats to the top. The emotions come up. So by embracing whatever the emotions are without acting on them, so important that we align our conduct with our highest wisdom and truth that we are aware of, then we can get that feeling is a power that helps me heal, particularly if you are empathic, which I'm kind of picking up here. You might be feeling other people's stuff that as you allow it to heal through you and all you got to do to heal it is to feel it, to keep breathing, right? Let it come up and through you. And honestly, afterwards, like after a big burp, you kind of float on air. Lord knows I do. I'm a Pisces moon, so, you know, I'm not coming at this from purely an Earth uh, sign POV, short of point of view. Uh, so I, I, I can sympathize as well as empathize. You know, people are like, oh my God, how do you, how do, you do these in these readings? It's like, I am empathically tuning <laughs> to quantum fields of different signs with planetary alignments. But the price that comes with that is feeling whatever rises without it possessing me. In other words, it's called embracing the shadow if you want to go classic, shamanic kind of dealio. Right? Into the underworld we go, Scorpio. Let's ask the, the Whispers of Love Oracle for a message from your higher self to tie this puppy up with a bow, shall we? Nice deep breath. The higher selves of all involved, please. One card in clarity, a whisper of love for this Scorpio collective sun, moon, rising sign from this new moon in Taurus to full moon next in their full moon sign for the year, full moon in Scorpio, April to May 2020. Please, what is the whisper of love that you want to communicate to the Scorpio collective sun, moon, rising sign this new moon to full moon next? April to May 2020. Consider your foundation. You are being asked to look at how committed you are to love, to loving yourself, to loving others, right? To cut yourself free from the illusions, to process, right? What is occupying you so that you can heal by polishing your heart. I know I'm jumping around. This isn't a timeline, right? So uh, that feeling is a power that helps me heal that can really, once something has been healed, in other words, it's not the emotion that needs healing. The emotion is a sign that the healing is already taking place. I hate to use this as a metaphor, but it works technically a simile, the way I'm going to say it. It's like popping a zit, which I know you're not supposed to do, but it's like the infection coming out. The infection doesn't need the healing. It's not a great way to look at our emotions, by the way, but even if it's toxic emotions, emotional pus, <laughs> pretty, but you kind of get, it's like the healing's already underway. You just have to let it heal by feeling it but you really need to consider your foundation. What do you need? You need to consider your foundation. How committed am I to loving myself? That even if someone is triggering the hell out of me, near or far, can I love what rises within me? Can I float on air and see that they're doing the best that they can, that they may be in pain, that I can't understand intellectually, because they may not understand why they're doing what they're doing, but maybe I can tune into what they are feeling and have a deeper, empathic, sympathetic, deeper understanding 
and more compassionate response by polishing my heart and then floating on air as I consider my foundation. A really clear reading, but don't forget this Archangel Michael card, darlings. Call upon a higher power. Call upon Archangel Michael to show you maybe what's true and maybe a more cosmic, mystical truth there. And I think you're going to have a much easier time of this new moon to full moon next, considering you want to nail that full moon in Scorpio on the 7th of May. May, good transition, the Scorpio collective sun, moon, rising signs be blessed with all they need this new moon to full moon next to heal, to grow, to float on air, to polish their heart, to consider their foundation with this occupation and healing with Archangel Michael that their health may improve and get stronger physically, emotionally, mentally, and spiritually for their well-being and for the well-being of all. So would it be. And so it is. Thank you for watching my Scorps. Please do like, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and comment if you're feeling it. Uh, otherwise, I'm going to wish you, as I always do, the very best and the very blessed of this new moon to full moon next April to May 2020. Hail. Farewell, and blessed, blessed be.